Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the newly appointed Ambassador to Israel to Bahrain, Aitan Nai, at the Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations to the Ambassador on his appointment and wished him success in performing his duties, which will contribute to strengthening cooperation and achieving regional and global peace, development and stability. During the meeting, topics of common interest as well as regional and international developments were discussed. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the first meeting of the BOC Board of Directors in its new session held at His Highness's office in Al Wadi Palace. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the new members of the Board of Directors and congratulated them on the occasion of their recommend recommendation of for membership of the new Board of Directors for the electoral cycle 2021-2024, stressing the importance of redoubling efforts to continue the path of success and gains for Bahraini sports. He expressed deep appreciation to the previous Board of Directors for the prominent role that culminated in making many achievements. The meeting began to discuss its agenda and the Board of Directors decided to elect His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Al Khalifa, Al -Khalifa, Al -Khalifa as Vice President of the BOC and it was decided to appoint Sheikh Hassa bin Khalid Al Khalifa as a member of the Board of Directors. The Board of Directors also decided to appoint Faris Mustafa Al Kuhiji as Secretary General of the Committee while Mohammed Hassan Al Nusf will assume the position of advisor to His Highness the President. The Board of Directors praised the efforts made by Al Nusf in leading the executive body of the committee and achieving many administrative, financial and sports successes that have enhanced the status of the committee locally and internationally. The Board of Directors discussed the most important needs and requirements of sports federations to participate in the upcoming Olympic Games, Paris Olympics 2024, and the technical and administrative efforts and programs for participation were reviewed. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, received her Jordanian counterpart, Abdul Karim Al Dagmi, upon his arrival as the head of a high level parliamentary delegation in Bahrain as part of an official visit. The visit comes as a culmination of relations between Bahrain and Jordan and the tangible progress they are witnessing at all levels as a result of the support they receive from the leadership of the two brotherly countries, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting presided over by its chairman, Ali Al Saleh. The council approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Memorandum of Association and Articles of Association of the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company. The council also approved the recommendation of the Financial and Economic Committee on a proposal adding a new Article 6 bis to Law 3 of the year 2008 on the Social Insurance Organization. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs states that the Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes dialogue between the Sudanese parties, stressing Bahrain's support to reviving the political process to, in Sudan to ensure security, peace, stability and unity of land. The Kingdom of Bahrain hails the constructive role played by the United Nations in this regard and the efforts applied by the comprehensive UN mission to support the transitional period in Sudan. The unit aims to hold political talks between all sectors. The Ministry also affirms the total support of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Sudan in order to achieve its people's aspirations of stability, peace and development. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue, inspected 63 shops and commercial establishments in a number of vital areas to ensure the mechanism of the proper application of the value-added taxes. During the inspection campaigns, 58 violations were detected and administrative fines were imposed, which may reach 10,000 Bahraini dinars. According to the VAT law, other cases were considered non-compliant with the application of value-added taxes, which required the closure of two precautionary stores. Accordingly, the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Bureau for Revenue 
are in the process of taking legal measures against the violating establishments and referring to those who are proven to have committed a VAT evasion crime to the authorities to initiate a criminal case against them. The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Bureau for Revenue called on establishments to adhere to the implementation of the mechanisms of the transitional phase of the VAT. For its part, the National Bureau for Revenue stressed the importance of joint efforts by all concerned parties to make the various stages of implementation successful, calling on consumers, all citizens and residents to submit complaints when noticing any violations or abuses of the VAT law through the official communication channels. Bahrain Institute for Political Development announced the implementation of 74 various activities specialized in the work of the legislative authority. The capital secretariat, council and municipal councils during the current legislative term with a total attendance of 1,870 participants. The fifth legislative term witnessed a significant growth in the number, quality and size of participation despite the exceptional circumstances that would with, that the world and Bahrain are experiencing as a result of the pandemic. Remote communication techniques have been used to organize events for the target groups of members of the Shura Council, Representatives Council, Municipal Councils and related employees. The Institute affirmed the continuation of cooperation with the Legislative Authority and Municipal Councils during the upcoming period in compliance with the implementation of the plans and programs approved by the Board of Trustees in line with the precautionary measures issued by the National Task Force for Combat the coronavirus. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism announced that the Ministerial Decision 77 of the year 2021 has taken effect today to ban the manufacture and import of trade of plastic water and bottles and cups below 200 ml. Assistant Under Secretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa said that the ban covers all plastic bottles and cups used to fill the water of various types, natural, sparkling, flavored, and sweetened, and called on all economic players to cooperate and abide by the decision. To speak more about this, we have with us the Chief of Standards Implementation and Quality Assurance and Testing and Metrology Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Ms. Intisar Abdelal. Hello, Ms. Intisar. Can you tell us about this decision and what it aims to achieve? Uh, good evening to all of you and thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Uh, as you know, uh, that the assistance under the Secretary of Domestic and Frozen Trade at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, uh, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa, announced last week the publication of Ministerial Order Number 77 for the year 2021 regarding the ban of manufacturing, importing, and selling less than 200 milliliter plastic water bottles and cups. Uh, this decision is agreed in the 53rd meeting of the National Committee for Standards and Metrology, chaired by His Excellency Mr. Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, the Minister of Ministry uh, of the Industry, Commerce and Tourism, and in the presence of representatives from governmental bodies, uh, BCCI and technical experts at the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, the control of plastic products is a priority for the testing and metrology directorate in the ministry uh, in order to keep in line with the national global plans and goals in reducing plastic waste and preserving the environment. Uh, therefore, the responsibility of the directorate is to protect the ecosystem from uh, plastic products, especially the water bottles and cups, that are harmful to the environment and living organisms. And that happens through imposing a new conformity assessment procedure on plastic water bottles and cups with the cooperation of the Ministry of Health and coordination with the Supreme Council of Environment in the borders to prevent plastic water bottles and cups from being uh, traded in the local markets. Thank you, Mr. Ntasar Abdelal, for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,206,577,000 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, 
while 1,182,340,000 had taken the second and 879,486,000 ,000 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative for, to register for the coronavirus vaccination.